Hey friends, welcome back to my Makeup Love office. I wanna to talk to you now about my second favorite product from Unique. You know I love the mascara, it is my number one true love, but coming in a very close second is the liquid foundation. I like to refer to this as Photoshop in a bottle. I find that this gives me the best coverage, hands down, of any foundation I've ever tried. And I've had lots of customers tell me the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the foundation. I'm gonna be using a really large kabuki brush. Now, I've had lots of customers ask me, how do you apply the foundation? Do you need a kabuki brush? Can you use a sponge like this? Can you use your fingers? What's the best? It's up to you. I find that my fingers are way too rough and calloused and dry from gardening to put on makeup on my face. It just doesn't give me a smooth application. I find that the sponge just absorbs too much product and I don't get as good a coverage. The Kabuki brush seems to give me the best finish, but you experiment, you do you. I only need a few drops of this on the top of my brush to do my entire face. This lasts me a good long time. I just like to dot to begin with and get a little bit all over my face. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm just going to buff it in. Now, if you want a heavier coverage, you can pounce or you can blend like I do. I like to blend in circles. You'll notice that I don't have my eye makeup on. I know a lot of makeup artists say, oh, you should do your eye makeup first. And then if you have any um, any like little um, fallout underneath, you can just whisk it away when you put your foundation on. And that sounds all well and good. Um, I've never had an issue with any fallout from any of my eye product. Um, so that's not really a problem for me. And I like to get down in every little nook and cranny around my eyes. I don't like for there to be like a, a line where my foundation stops and my eye makeup starts. I like it to just look like it's my skin. So I wanna cover up every, and you notice I even get around my nose, I get around my mouth. I wanna make sure it looks as natural as possible. All right, so there we go, there's my coverage. I think it looks pretty good. If I find any spots that aren't covered as well as I'd like them, I just go back, add a little bit more. Um, for instance, I have some dark spots right in here. Sometimes I go back and I will cover those um, a little bit more, or you can also use concealer if you prefer. Now, what if you don't like liquid foundation? Don't worry, we've got you covered. We have an awesome spray foundation. I also apply this with a kabuki brush. I just spritz like two sprays on top of the brush um, and then apply it the same way. Um, you could try d using this with your fingertips or the sponge. You don't wanna spray it right on your face. I know I've seen a lot of makeup artists on TikTok where they just like drip the product on their face and go from there, but I've tried it and it just doesn't work for me. Um, but if you like a, a light coverage, a sheer to medium coverage, you might prefer the spray. This is also nice because it's nice and portable. Um, we have a stick foundation. This one comes in really nice when traveling too. It's basically just a roll-up stick, kind of like a deodorant roll-up. And I like to apply this one straight to my face. I just make what I call war paint stripes all over, and then I just buff it in. Again, I use the Kabuki brush. You can try whatever you prefer. Um, there is a powder for you gals that like powder. I'm over 50, I'm 58, almost 59. I don't like powder um, simply because I have so many fine lines and wrinkles. I feel like powder tends to settle into those wrinkles and kind of accentuate them and make them more prominent. And that's not the look I'm going for. I am trying to avoid that. So I don't like to use a lot of powder products on my face for that very reason. But if you're a younger gal or you just absolutely can't stand the feel of anything but powder on your face, we've got you covered. There is a powder foundation. And finally, another one of my new favorites, this is probably gonna be two and a half on my favorite list, is the new BB cream. Now this gives you, um, again, sheer to medium coverage, but the great thing about this is it includes skincare. It's got all that great stuff, the um, ceramides and the hyaluronic acid or hyaluronic, I, I can't think of the name, not acid, but anyway, all of those great ingredients that you always hear about, um, they're in there. They're in, in with 
the BB cream. Of course, it's got moisturizers in it. That's what a BB cream is. It's kind of like your foundation and your moisturizer got married and had a baby. Um, but even better, ladies, for where I live, it's got SPF 30. I have horribly damaged skin from the sun. When I was a kid, I didn't take care of my skin. As a young adult, I didn't know. No one in my family ever wore sunscreen. And uh, yeah, I'm paying the price now. So I like to make sure when I go out, my face is covered with SPF. This is a great way to do it. Plus it gives me a, a sheer coverage so that my skin looks a little more even and looks a little more, you know, finished. Um, so this is probably number two and a half on my fun list. So that is it for foundation. If you have any questions, please just pop them in the comments and I will be glad to answer them for you. All right, coming up to the next post.